Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the onActivity result function in Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity and second activity. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. And activity underscore second.xml file, which is the second activities layout. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a button, go to the second activity. And in the activity underscore second.xml file, a button, go back. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, when the button is clicked, we use the start activity for the result function to navigate to the second activity. We use a request code while doing the navigation. When the app flow comes back from the second activity to the main activity, we catch that flow in this on activity result function. Here first, we find out if the result is OK, and also match the request code that was used while navigating. When everything is OK, we retrieve the data that was sent by the second activity and show it in the toast. These are the imports. This is the second activity. In the onCreate function, when the back button is clicked, we put some data in the intent, close this second activity, and go back to the main activity. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the onActivity result in Kotlin Android. Thank you.